Good evening, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the Albano Rhino Beer Review. Today you have the Rhino, and we're going to look at a beer. Picked this beer up today at uh, the LCBO. I did try to use the LCBO's online ordering system. They just started, and this was one of the beers on there. And I had, what, $120 worth of beers decided upon. And I went to use it, and apparently you can't use Visa Debit on... Uh, on the LCBO website, they only accept real credit cards. I made a lot of credit card mistakes in the past, so even though I have limits on my credit cards, I'm trying to pay them all off and cancel them, so I wasn't going to use that, so I actually stood back and said no. But this just happened to be in my LCBO. This is from the Gananoque Brewing Company in Kingston. This is the Naughty Otter Lager. It's a Naughty Otter Lager. I don't know how the light's going to be on this. It looked like it was fine. I didn't turn this guy on right above me. I'm going to turn this one on. It seems to really affect the color saturation on the, uh... Oh, no, I can't turn it off. There we go. On the cell phone, so I thought I'd try it off this time and see what happens. I'll buy a round of beer review. Filling those with flavor. Since 2009. So what do we have here? This is 5.2% alcohol. I pulled out my... James Ready mug for this. Now, they were contract brewing for a while. I'm not 100% sure where they were contract brewing. I actually think they may have been contract brewing at Niagara College at one point. Uh, he does have a standalone brewery now. Um, he has had some complaints about things like electricity rates and all that, and uh, a lot of them are true complaints. Things like uh, how much distribution costs when the he was talking about things like hey man it's, it's stupid that I'm paying so much for transportation when the when the dam is right across the street <laughs> I can see that being something you complain about uh, crystal clear yellow color you know what I actually have a uh, crystal clear yellow color a little bit of carbonation moving in there. Nice white head. Uh, see, with that light off, I, I, the color it just doesn't, I don't think it pops well enough. My dog thought that was a laser pointer, that's why you hear the, the jingle jangle of the claws. Okay, smell. It smells like your average macro lager, to be honest with you. Kind of like a kind of like a Euro lager, almost like that slightly sulfuric uh, water smell, the hard water smell. And I'm not saying that they use hop extract because I, I've seen video and stuff of them throwing actual hops into the boil, but it, it has that almost, uh, almost Heineken mixed with MGD smell of sort of like a hop extract mixed with, uh, mixed with that Euro water. But I mean, and a little bit more hoppiness than, than the average macro lager would have. But it's not, it's not anything to uh, say, oh my god about it, it's your average lager. Cheers, let's try this. Okay, so, um, basically your average pale lager, um, a little more flavorful than, than a macro pale lager, it does have flavor in it, but it is a pale lager, um, a bready biscuitiness up front and at the back, uh, not really an overly sweetness, so it's just biscuity and bready. A dirty, earthy, and piney hoppiness, which kicks right after that breadiness, lasts for a little bit on the back of the palate, and then fades back into that bready uh, biscuitiness. <sighs> a 
Well, that is a very nice beer. Again, not anything mind-blowing, but a very nice beer nonetheless. Uh, clean, crisp, light-bodied, easy drinking, wet, alcoholic, has some flavor to it. Uh, it just comes down to then, um, at almost $3 a can, I think it was, uh, what was it, was it $2.95 or $2.85? Even somewhere between $2.75 and $2.95. Is it better than spending the $2.25 for the same size of the macro stuff? I'd say, yeah, uh, what this actually kind of reminds me of is uh, Barking Squirrel or a slightly less flavorful, say, um, Boston Lager. So I, I would put this in the in the Mad Quacker area of, of beers where, yeah, I could buy this. I don't see myself buying it very often because I don't really care for lagers, but I think if I got this nice and cold on a hot summer day, this would just slide right down the throat. So out of 10 on the Naughty Otter from Gananoque Brewing. Mm. You know what, I'd have to give it a 7.5. Uh, there's nothing wrong with it. It's Again, it's just not it's not spectacular or special for me, but you know me, I'm more of an ale guy, I'm more of a stout, uh, wheat, porter, sour. I'm more of an ale guy in general. Belgians, uh, I'm not all that big into lagers, but this pale lager could, could work. Cheers, guys.